there's a sect of Judaism that agrees with the Jerusalem Talmud, which says, and uh, I'm going to re, re, I'm going to quote this: Ribi Yehoshua ben Levi, Amar Zemak Shemo. This is found in the Jerusalem Talmud, Barachot 17a. And if you will look at it, you will see that if you're talking about a sect of Judaism to line up with the uh, rabbinic literature, his name would have to be Yeshua, because that's what Zacharias says. Zemach Shemo to Yeshua ben Yehotzadak, whose name is also Yehoshua. It's given in both the Aramaic and the Hebrew in the Tanakh. Now, this is important. We're talking about a Zikus, uh and uh, a Yeshua or Klal Yisrael. We're talking about Moshiach. Uh, we're talking about the Orthodox Jewish sect that you read about. It says Rav Shaul took the Moshiach's Talmudim. And Yom Yom was saying Shirim in the Messianic Yeshiva of Tyrannus. And where is that found? That's found in uh, the book of Acts. And that's what I'm quoting from here. The book of Acts. And Rav Shul said, Yohanan gave a tevilah of teshuvah to the people, saying that they should have imunah in hu haba, the one who comes, the one coming after him. That is in Yahushua. And having heard this, they were given Mashiach's uh, mikvah in uh, Hashem of of Moshiach Adonainu Yoshua. And when Rav Shaul placed his hands upon them, the Ruach HaKodesh came upon them and they were speaking in Lashonot and they were speaking Devarim HaNevuah. Now, all this is in chapter 19 of the book of Acts where we see there are two mikvahs, one in water and one in the Ruach HaKodesh. And these people receive both from the hands of Rav Shaul. And uh, in chapter 21, having given them a shalom greeting, Rav Shaul was explaining one by one the things Hashem did through his Avodas Kodesh as Moshiach's Shaliach to the Umot Haolam. And the ones who heard were saying, Baruch Hashem. And they said unto him, You see, Akba Moshiach, how many thousands there are among the Yehudim who have Imunah, and they have kanus, zealousness. They are shomer mitzvot for the Torah. And these Orthodox Jews have heard a uh, false rumor, of course, informing them about you that you teach the uh, deem living among the Goyim in the Golas 
to be shmad and to commit apostasy from Moshe Rabbeinu, telling them to abandon Bris Melah for B'nai Yisrael and not to be Shomer regarding the Darhe Torah. What then is to be done? Certainly these Orthodox Jews will get word that you have come. This therefore do. There are with us 40 men who are under a neder nezarim. Go take these for purification. Eat how to shoot and purify yourself with them and pay expenses for them that they may cut their hair then all shall have knowledge that there is no emiss to the rumor then it shall be clear that you yourself are in agreement and from regarding the Darhe Hatora, and you are Haridi and Shomer Mitzvot in the ranks of those who practice Orthodox Judaism. And he does this. You have to see this. I just finished at verse 24 of Acts chapter 21, where we see that Rav Shaul is uh, an Orthodox Jew. The Zoyche merit is alien. The alien merit of Moshiach that's imputed to sinners based on Emunah as it was with Abraham. And we're talking about a Zikus and a Yeshua for Claude Yisrael. We're talking about Moshiach ben David. We're talking about the Derek Hashem. Go to afii.org forward slash capital O, capital J, capital B dot PDF. And you will see that this is the the uh, Savior, the goal, the goal redeemer of Orthodox Judaism, the true Moshiach. And this is what we preach. Not a dead man, not a mere rabbi, but the Barinosh, Moshiach ben David, come into my heart, forgive my sins, take control of my life. And I will serve you and follow you all the days of my life. Amen.